Hi friends, this is Ryan Nicholas with the Damon Sells Homes team at Cowell Banker. I'm so excited to share our new listing with you today. It's in Kingstown, awesome community in Alexandria, Virginia. And the house is located at 7431 Digby Green. So let me share my screen with you and uh, we can take a look at the house. So here it is, it's a, it's a beautiful, um, three level townhome. It's got a nice little bay window right there. And for those who don't know about the Kingstown community, let me go over to the aerial map. So it's located uh, just outside the Beltway and east of 95 in Alexandria. And the location is it's close to DC. Uh, you can see uh, here's the house right here. We'll zoom in in a second. Here's the Franconia Springfield Metro. So it's uh, just a few minutes drive from the metro station. Kingstown is a huge community. It's over 5,000 homes on this area here. And uh, there's Kingstown Town Center. They've got all kinds of shops and restaurants and stores there. Uh, there's a Safeway and a World Market. Right down here, you can see there's a Wegmans. Uh, the high school is Hayfield High School right here. And zooming in a little bit closer, uh, the elementary school here is Lane Elementary School. So this particular home is in this little uh, nook of Kingstown here, just these few streets, and it backs to woods. And one of the seller's favorite things about the community, while yes, it does have a couple of different pools, tennis courts, um, volleyball courts, fitness centers, but their favorite thing about it is all the walking trails and biking trails that they go on. So here's the house. And you can go out the back gate and right over here, there's a little playground if you have kids. And uh, there, there's some trails that you can walk or bike on that just go for miles all around the community. And uh, zooming back out real quick, you can see there's lots of uh, wooded areas surrounding it, lots of green space uh, park up here by the elementary school. So zooming in, there's uh, Digby Green is the road right here. And again, this is an interior unit. That, that backs to these trees. And uh, I'll show you photos in a little bit. One of the things the sellers love to do is just sit out on their back deck and you can just hear nature. You don't hear road noise. Uh, you can just hear the birds chirping and, and, and just, just be among the trees, so to speak. So today I'm gonna take you on a 3D tour of the inside of the house now that we've seen the front. And uh, ever since the pandemic started, we've been doing a lot of these 3D tours. So it's, it's, uh, it, it gives you an idea of what the home is like before you even get there. Just to uh, look at the, the floor plan from above. So it's a, uh, here's the main level, the front of the home, you walk into the living area and the kitchen's in the rear of the home, it walks right out to the, uh, the back deck. And then it's a three bedroom, uh, two bath town home, two full baths on the top floor. So here's the master bedroom. And uh, there's a half bathroom on the main level and a half bathroom in the basement. So four bathrooms total throughout the house. We'll go back to the Dow house here on the main level and come right in to the foyer. So when you walk in, you see the, the large living area. It's got this big, beautiful bay window, which lets in lots of natural light. The whole house has just uh, freshly been painted on the, the entire main level, entire basement, all the living areas of the upstairs. Uh, nice neutral grays, uh, hardwood flooring here on the main level, and a, a half bath powder room off to the side here. And moving back a little bit, give you a little bit more perspective on this room. They've got some nice chair molding in the dining area with uh, wainscoting here. Big open living space. And as you can tell, lots of natural light. And uh, the kitchen is in uh, the rear. So it's a center island kitchen, nice big island. They, they love how much counter space you get here for a townhouse. This is a really, for a townhome, this is a really nice kitchen. Uh, counter space everywhere. Um, granite, uh, stainless steel appliances. The stove has been updated recently. And it's got a double sink that looks back out into the trees over the deck when you're standing at the sink doing dishes and whatnot. A uh, nice little breakfast uh, morning nook over here. And you can get a view of the deck out there. It's a very spacious deck. And they've got a beautiful crepe myrtle tree. I'll show you some more pictures of that in a little bit. 
So, and here's, here's what it looks like looking back the other way. Let's try to get that image to load there. So moving upstairs, uh, and whatever carpet there is in the house, they just had uh, steam clean. So that's all freshly clean for you. And uh, the entire upper level of in the bathrooms has just been replaced with uh, hardwood new hardwood flooring. So let's turn into the master bedroom first. So a uh, nice big master bedroom with vaulted ceiling. So it feels really big. Again, lots of natural light and uh, wooded views when you wake up in the morning. And behind this door here, there's a deep walk-in closet. Uh, so it's a lot, lot, lot of closet space in here. And each of the bedrooms has a nice ceiling fan as well. And then moving into the large master bathroom. Now, how many townhomes do you, do you see where you have dual vanities? Uh, so this has got a dual vanity sink and they painted the, uh, the cabinets this beautiful blue color, uh, replaced the light fixtures there. And it's got a separate jacuzzi soaking tub along with, let me move the camera angle over here, a, uh, a stand up walk-in shower. And look at these views of the trees. So imagine just having a relaxing bath and just letting the, the window open, hearing the birds chirping and um, and having some nice views and privacy right there. So that's one of my favorite things about this house is the, the dual vanity and the master bathroom and, and large walk-in closet. Uh, the other two bedrooms, which uh, both have hardwood floors, uh, share this hall bath upstairs. So nice hall bathroom, tile flooring. Uh, the tile flooring in the master bath was also uh, replaced recently. So you can see it's light and bright. And returning out to the bedroom area. So here's the, the smaller of the two bedrooms, still a decent size, good size closet, ceiling fan. And then the larger of the two bedrooms here. Pretty cool ceiling fan there. You got a globe, half globe on the bottom. So that's the, that's the bedroom level. Now let's jump all the way down to the basement. And when you come down the stairs here to the bottom of the basement, uh, you've got a, a double um, closet here and that's where the laundry is. So there's a, a, a ample laundry space and some storage space in there. And then they've got this, uh, it's not a fourth bedroom because there's no window, but it's, it would be a great den or guest bedroom as they have it set up here, home office. Um, however you want to use that room. And the basement is, uh, again, a big open rec room here. It is a full level walkout basement. So again, lots of natural light coming in, even on the basement level. Big open living area with a gas fireplace. And then here we've got the uh, you know utility room, a little bit of extra storage. There's actually a good amount of storage through this access panel here under the stairs. And over here, we have a half bathroom. So again, there's four total bathrooms in the house. Updated light fixtures there too. And then here's a view out the basement door. So under the deck, you've got a nice uh, paver patio. And you'll, as you'll see, it's a no mow backyard. So there's no grass for you to maintain just uh, easy living back there. And here's the fireplace. So let me show you a, a few photos of the backyard because the 3D camera doesn't go outside. It's got to be contained within walls. So uh, you can see, again, it's got um, covered patio area under the deck, an open uh, wooden deck patio area. And then here's again, views of the, uh, of the woods behind the house. And again, that's one of the main uh, selling points of this home. So uh, we've listed the house for 550 and uh, just hit the market today, Thursday, September 10th. If you are a realtor and you have a client who would like to uh, take a look, or if you're looking for a home yourself and you want to schedule a showing, please contact me. My number is 703-915-5990, and we can set something up right away. And uh, any questions you have about the, the community, or the, uh, the house itself, let me know. 
couple other uh, uh, features, the HVAC and the water heater were just recently updated in the past few years as well. So it's really move in ready, ready for you to make it your home. Again, my name is Ryan and Nicholas with the Damon Sells Homes team at Cowell Banker Residential Brokerage. Have a great day.